Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my channel, my name is Elizabeth and you are welcome. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful gong sleeve that you're seeing on the screen. So if you're interested in learning how to cut and sew this beautiful structured sleeve, please keep on watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So to make this sleeve, these are the materials you will need. You need your main fabric, you need your lining of course, and also you need a stay. So in this tutorial, I'll be making use of a collar stay, but you can also use a hard gum stay or a medium gum stay. Depends on how um, strong you want your structured sleeve to be. I'll also be needing a tape measure, my tailor's chalk and also my scissors. So let's get into the drafting. So I'll be drafting this on my fabric directly and I'm going to fold my fabric into two like this. Then I'll determine the width and the length of my sleeve. So for the width of the sleeve, which is how wide you want your sleeve to be, what I simply did here was to add extra four inches to my AMO measurement. Now this AMO measurement I'm talking about is the one you measure from your dress or your blouse okay to measure the armhole of your dress and whatever that gives you you're going to be adding extra four inches to it now this four inches is not constant okay it depends on how wide you want your sleeve to be if you want it to be you know, a little bit wider than mine you can add like four five to six inches and also if you do not want it to be as wide as mine you can also add just three inches to your arm o measurements okay so i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two using my arm o measurement plus extra four inches and i also added one inch for joining allowance at the side okay so go ahead and do the same thing on your fabric so the next thing i'm going to do now is to come down by one inch from the top of my fabric like so which is going to serve as my starting line so if you follow me on this channel you will know that i do this a lot on the channel okay so now after doing that the next thing to do is to measure out the length of your sleeve so from that starting line i'm going to be coming down by 11 inches which is the length i want my sleeve to be again this depends on how long you want your sleeve to be you can do 12 you can do 13 or 14 i think 13 should be the highest you will do you know it's not going to make sense if the sleeve is too long so after that i'm just going to add half inch of stitching allowance to my 11 inches and then i'm just going to cut out this piece just so i have something small to work with so coming to the open part I'm going to be coming down from my starting line by 4.5 inches which is going to be my sleeve caps height then i'll give it that sleeve curve like so just like you're seeing on the screen so the next thing to do now is to measure what i have on that part so go ahead and measure what you have on that part and whatever you have there subtract one inch from it and then come to the length of your sleeve and place the result there just like you're seeing on the screen. After that, I'm going to use my straight ruler to connect the two points together. And our sleeve is basically ready. So what is left now is to add half an inch stitching allowance round the upper part, just like you see me demonstrating on the screen. Okay, so just go ahead and add half an inch of stitching allowance. That's the allowance you're going to use to join the sleeve to the main body of the dress or the blouse. Our sleeve is almost ready guys. So the next thing is to cut it out. Guys, after cutting, this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to use my chalk to mark out the wrong part. Okay, because this fabric I'm using is very, very difficult to tell which is the right part and the wrong part. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to use this fabric, my main fabric I just called to cut out on my lining i'll also use the main fabric to cut out on my interfacing so guys i'm done cutting all my pieces and here is what they look like so i cut exactly the same thing i have on the main fabric on my lining fabric and for the interfacing what i did was 
cut it out without having any stitching allowance okay so all the stitching allowances that we have on the main fabric i made sure to cut them out on the interfacing just like i'm demonstrating on the screen do the same thing for yours so that when you are joining your pieces together the stay does not interfere with your main fabric because it's not always easy to work with when the interfacing is getting to the same allowance i hope you understand so now what i'm going to do is to iron my interfacing to the wrong part of my main fabric like so as you can see what i was saying earlier all the seam allowances have been trimmed off from the interfacing as you can see so i'll just go ahead and iron this to my main fabric then i'll come back to show us what it looks like so after ironing this is what it looks like guys as you can see and my stay is not even getting to the seam allowance so now i will place the main fabric and the lining right side facing each other as you can see on the screen and i will stitch the m by half of an inch just as i'm demonstrating so after stitching this is what it looks like i have ironed it flat as you can see after that the next thing i'm going to do is to open it up like so and then i'm going to place them right side of the fabric facing each other as well as the right side of the lining facing each other and then i'll sew on the side by one inch okay after stitching guys this is what we have so what i'll do now is to trim the seam allowance a bit just so it does not get too bulky and then i'm going to flip everything to the right side so guys our beautiful structured gong sleeve is coming out nice and clean as you can see everything is coming out the way it's supposed to come out so now i'm just going to flip it over again to the main fabric okay guys just take a look at this sleeve it's so beautiful and clean easy to make totally beginner friendly and it does not even take much time to make if you enjoyed this video to this very point please do not forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't and do not forget to share this with your fellow soulmates okay so let's continue so the next thing i'm going to do now is just pin it down i mean the main fabric and the lining i'll pin it down then i'll measure my actual arm o measurement starting from the lower part which is the side seam okay towards the center part so i'm just going to measure it like so and for me the arm o i'm making use of is 8.5 so when i measured and i got to that 8.5 i'm going to make a notch there so after making a notch there i'm going to pleat the rest of my sleeve i'm going to pleat them together and make sure the pleat is concentrating at the center okay make sure the sleeve is concentrating the pleat is concentrating at the center and after that i'm just going to take it to my sewing machine i will stitch it down So guys this is what we have after i was done pleating and securing that with a stitch this is how beautiful the sleeve came out this is so lovely so the whole idea behind the sleeve is to make sure that round part fits exactly into the armhole of your dress okay so this is it for the tutorial guys the next thing is to attach this sleeve to your dress or your blouse and then you are good to go okay thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and drop your thoughts in the comment section let me know if you learned something and if you're going to be recreating this okay so share this video with others and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the post notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will always be notified okay see you all in my next video